Hey guys, just a summary video today, just to wrap up the topic of beams. Uh, so firstly, um, this video will cover everything I've uh, gone over in beams. And uh, the first thing I really want, do want to say is, uh, it's very important to draw a BMD in this topic and looking through your video, uh, the set of videos I've um, created, you'll notice that there's a BMD in most uh, of the videos. So for instance, I've drawn here a um, simply supported beam with a UDLW. And uh, we know this BMD shape would be WL squared on eight. I've also discussed beta M. So that's a moment ratio. And it's the ratio of the smaller to big moment. So that's why we get minus 30 on 100 equals minus 0 0.3. So this was for single curvature. Uh, it's important to note that if you have double curvature, it would be positive. Now, two important graphs that I mentioned in the earlier topics. Uh, so as we can see, it's moment versus curvature. And from this, we can get an appreciation of whether our beam is slender because it doesn't re it only yield sorry it's slender because it buckles before it yields or it's non-compact because it is able to achieve yielding uh, a yielding moment that is uh, but is unable to achieve the plastic moment it just falls short and the compact sort of beams are able to sort of extend uh, to the plastic moments also just to appreciate that further uh, so we have the effective modulus section modulus ZE graphed against B on T and that's the key parameter that really dictates whether we have a compact, non-compact or slender beam.